What is up guys, Scorp80 here, and today I'm bringing you guys a Super Mario Party for Nintendo Switch video, and in this video I'm just going to go over um, a bunch of basic tips and tricks and uh, a little bit of strategy that you can use for when you're playing Super Mario Party to make sure you get that win and destroy your friends while doing it. It's a really fun game, um, but I feel like a lot of people play without a, uh, without strategy, or without really thinking too much about what they're going to do. And there's actually professional Super Mario Party players that uh, think ahead and plan ahead what they're going to do. Um, and uh, I guess have a bunch of tips and tricks of how they can win. Now, I'm going to share some of those tricks with you in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, this tip is basically making sure that you're focusing on getting those stars. Because a lot of people don't want to spend their coins on items or in the shop to facilitate their progress to getting stars because they think that they're going to need the uh, the coins later or something like that. And then they end up either not using them or having them co their coins be taken away taken away by uh, because of something that happens in game. So again, don't be afraid to spend your coins to get the stars and make sure you don't get distracted from the main objective, getting those stars. All right, another really important tip is uh, one that you can't control as much as the getting coins or I mean getting stars and spending coins is that um, getting allies is a really, really important thing that's going to help you out a lot. Once you get an ally, you can use their dice um, and roll that one, and it might have more benefits. Plus, your ally gets a plain dice that they roll, which will normally give you like one or two uh, extra extra moves uh, on the board. So yeah, it's really important that when you can get allies, you get them, and that uh, you use their dice to to take advantage of the ally that you just got. All right, next is knowing your surroundings. So if you know that you're going to be in a Mario Party with some friends, uh, you can go ahead and jump into one of the uh, maps and check your surroundings. That way you'll know the map and you'll know where certain items can be um, or where it is convenient to go. Also, pay attention to where the stars are because uh, that is, of course, your main objective. So again, knowing your surroundings can be the, um, the difference between winning and losing or getting and not getting a star, especially if your friends are, are not really uh, paying attention to where the stars are or where important items can be. All right, now this is uh, a little golden nugget that I found on the internet while searching, and I'll throw up a table that they made about this. Um, and it says which, it, it talks about which players or uh, which characters uh, are the best to use in which situation. So for example, it says that if you're coin hunting, which again doesn't make a lot of sense because your main objective should be getting those stars, uh, then you should choose Donkey Kong, Goomba, or Rosalina. But if you want to move around the board and you want to move fast, then your best bet is going to be either Boo, Bowser, or Wario. So those three characters are the ones that are going to be um, the best for moving around the board and the ones I would personally recommend if you like moving around the board. And uh, it's going to make it easier for you to get to those stars, get some items, and uh, get the coins. All right, for my final tip is uh, don't give up because even though it may seem that all is lost, that all hope is lost, that you've lost because your friend uh, or your opponent has uh, more stars than you when the game is about to end, don't be uh, discouraged because at the end, Toad will give you prizes or stars. He'll give you stars to the player who has completed uh, most things. And the ones I know for sure, I'm not sure if there are more, but for example, he'll give a star to the player who has won the most mini games, or to the player who has the most coins. Um, so again, the coin thing, yeah, I would recommend spending it on stars, but again, don't do it too casually because if you are the person with the most coins at the end, you'll get a star for that too. Um, but what I would really recommend is doing your best on all of the mini games because that will really help you out uh, at the end of the day to get a star. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to know some more tips and tricks for Mario Party or any other game. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, Scarp80 out.